Hey, eighth graders. So at this point, you guys should have completed the chapter three quiz. Um, just like we've done in the other chapters, we're going to follow it up with a modeling tool so you guys can show me your understanding of collisions based on what we've been learning about with the space pod and the space station. Um, so just as a little reminder for you guys, our pod weighed in at 1,100 kilograms and our space station ended up weighing in about four, uh, 415,400 kilograms. We can kind of see the mass difference between those two. So just as a little refresher to remember that our pod was moving uh, at a medium speed to the right, it experienced its first thruster force, which was supposed to slow the pod down and stop it so it could dock with the space station. But we know that that pod collected too many asteroid samples and was therefore heavier than usual. So when we applied the normal thruster force to the pod, it didn't stop it like it was supposed to. That pod slowed down, but it kept moving. And eventually it hit the space station, bounced off, and moved in the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, we also found out on chapter uh, 3.1, 3.2 that we had some movement with the space station as well. So what you guys are going to be doing is modeling these in this activity here. So I'm going to go ahead, open up our modeling tool. And then as that opens, I'm going to go ahead and explain all of this to you. Okay, so open the force in motion modeling tool activity. You just have one to do today, whereas in the past you guys have been compa comparing different claims. Now we kind of have everything figured out and just want to kind of show our final thoughts. When your model is complete, you guys are actually going to screenshot it, not hand it in and amplify. Remember that your goal is to model the forces exerted when this pod and the space station collided. Show how the velocity of each object changed as a result of the collision. So the two things that you're really going to be focusing on is this is in the during force box, the moment those two objects are in contact with each other, that's our collision. They're putting forces on each other. So what do those forces look like? When you guys use the pink arrows for those, make sure that you guys can see individually um, what force is coming from which object and in which direction, uh, correct size of those forces. And then make sure you guys don't like hide the arrows so I can't see how big those arrows are. Um, or they're like overlapped or each other or whatever the case is. Okay, and then in the after force box, you guys are going to show the change in velocity for both the space pod and the space station. Okay, show the locations of the pod and the space station during and after the collision. Show the strength of the forces exerted on each object during the collision and show the final velocities of the pod and the space station. So this can be kind of like your little checklist. So make sure you guys go through and say, all right, did I show the correct locations of the pod and the space station the minute they are in contact with each other in the collision? Did I show the strength of the forces? So did I use the correct arrows and the correct direction of arrows um, in that during collision box? And then finally, um, did I show them moving away properly from each other? Okay, tips, the medium mass object represents the pod, the large mass object represents the space station. Um, you guys can see your space ACM pod, and then this is the space station. So you guys can see medium mass here, large mass here, um, as toward the space station. So in your collision, you guys are going to show what a collision looks like. So again, this is the moment where the two objects are in your two objects, okay, and show them in contact with each other. Okay, then you guys are going to use the pink arrows to show me the force that they put on each other. So... Uh, make sure you guys, again, kind of separate your pink arrows so I can see the difference of them and I can see the sizes of them and they're not covered up by your pods. Okay, and then finally, you guys are going to show what happens. So you guys will need to drag your B puck into the after force and show me the change in motion. You'll also need to drag the C puck up here and show what the space station is doing after the motion. So make sure you guys use um, for each the ACM pod and the space station the correct velocity to show what the movement of those two objects look like after they collided. Okay, so again, um, you guys should have your two objects here touching to show the collision, and then you guys should have the correct pink arrows to show the force that happens during a collision. And then again, you guys should have another puck B, a puck C here, and then you guys should give them each the appropriate velocity to show what they look like or what change in motion they would see after the collision. Okay, once you guys are done with that, you guys are gonna go ahead, screenshot it, Put that in on slide four. Make sure you guys let it save before you guys exit out of this and hand this in. Otherwise, you're going to get an assignment that looks exactly like this, and I will not be able to grade it. Okay. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If not, I will talk to you soon. Make sure you guys finish your chapter three quiz, no notes, and I hope you're having a good day.